Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. So hopefully you saw my first videos about Dr. z Dog. yeah, that's his real name, where he supposedly debunked the film What the Health, all the health claims made within it. Well, basically, if you saw my videos, you saw how I proved that z Dog's criticisms were just basically either factually incorrect or just not actual science. Well, anyway, there's an article on Mind Body Green discussing whether what the health is correct or not. And they talked to several doctors who were critical of the film. And I'll show that their criticisms and complaints are pretty much the same as Z Dogs, either factually incorrect or just not actual science. So this Mind Body Green article gets the opinion of a Dr. William Cole, who himself has several articles published on Mind Body Green, including this gym here about how low-fat diets wreck brain health. Yes, eating a bunch of whole food carb plants like I do supposedly is going to cause ADD, autism, Alzheimer's, the list goes on. I should know. I'm a medical doctor. And what the hell, they devote a large amount of the movie's time detailing the various ailments that are caused by eating animal products. That's the point of the movie, basically. Well, apparently, Dr. Cole didn't get the main point of the movie. Here he says, well, as long as the meat you eat is organic and grass-fed, it's part of a healthy diet. Well, he's right in the sense, yeah, if it's organic, grass-fed, it probably doesn't have the antibiotics, not given growth hormones, stuff like that. Except for those things, it's organic, grass-fed meat still has cholesterol still has saturated fat studies have shown that organic meat still has contaminants like conventionally grown meat furthermore dr cole fails to mention that organic grass-fed meat is no different from any other meat in that all meats contain cancer promoting hormone IGF-1, which is not in any plant foods. Forgot what IGF-1 is? Let's have Dr. Gregor of NutritionFacts.org give us a quick recap. IGF-1 is a growth hormone that makes things grow. That's what it does. But too much growth when we're all grown up can mean cancer. Helps cancer cells you know, break off from the main tumor, migrate into surrounding tissues, and invade the bloodstream. And, uh, you know, what do you think helps you know, breast cancer get into the bone? IGF-1. And the liver, IGF-1. A lung, brain, you know, lymph nodes, IGF-1. Helps transform normal cells into cancer cells in the first place, then helps them survive, proliferate, self-renew, grow, migrate, invade, stabilize the new tumors, and even helps hook the blood supply up to the new tumor. Therefore, if he considers grass-fed meat as being part of a healthy diet, IGF-1 is part of a healthy diet. Well, what else does Dr. Cole consider to be part of a healthy diet? Well, on other articles that he's published on Mind Body Green, he warns us not to eat too many healthy carbohydrates. I assume he's talking about whole food carbs here because they produce glucose in us, which is the energy that our body runs on. He has another article on Mind Body Green describing the virtues of butter. Yeah, all that saturated fat and cholesterol is actually really good for you. And another article, Nine Ways to Prepare Bone Broth. Well, bone broth has been long debunked as a health food. And if you haven't seen Mike the Vegan's video on it, I suggest you watch it. In conclusion, bone broths are nutritionally pointless, founded in pseudoscience, a risk for lead exposure, and frankly, a misguided search for a animal product-based solution to problems that were likely caused by animal products, whether that is cartilage degeneration or the latest antibiotic-resistant infection. They also talked to Dr. Pedre, who himself has some great articles published on Mind Body Green. First, let's check out this one here, where he's talking about weight loss. The best way to lose weight is to starve yourself through fasting. Yeah, that's healthy and sustainable. As another article here about yeah, drink milk, it's good for you. And this gem here about how fruit, whole food fruit is bad for you. You know, we're not talking about processed sugar, we're talking about fruit. Don't eat fruit because it's bad for you. I'm a medical doctor, I should know. Well, since this Dr. Pedre is so deathly afraid of any and all forms of sugar, even whole food fruits, of course he's not gonna to be too receptive when Dr. Neil Bernard here lays down the truth about the cause of diabetes, and it's not from sugar. Diabetes is not and never was caused by eating a high carbohydrate diet, and it's not caused by eating sugar. Yeah, Dr. Garth Davis gives some additional insight into sugar. Yeah, he's not a big fan of it. It's really low in nutrients. But despite what these low-carb doctors are claiming, 
Sugar does not cause inflammation. It gets stored in the body as glycogen, doesn't cause fat. In fact, this focus on sugar is taking the focus away from the true causes of disease, of diabetes in this case, animal products. Well, of course, carb-fearing Dr. Pedre disagrees with this. It's sugar, he asserts. That's the major cause of inflammation in the body, which leads to insulin resistance, which leads to fat deposits on the abdomen. Well, let's take a look at these two claims. First of all, let's look at the fat being deposited on the abs because of sugar. Is that how it really works? Well, yeah, fat can be created by excess carbs, but as Dr. Garth explains, it's a pretty difficult process. The de novo lipo pro process uh, requires that you be in whey calorie excess and that all your glycogen stores, your storage of carbs in your muscle cells be saturated before any of that fat will be, any of those carbs will be turned to fat. And in order to do that, it takes energy. So you're actually burning energy in order to do that. Now, on the other hand, the fat you eat goes quite easily to fat stores in the body without much difficulty. Well, let's talk about inflammation. What is inflammation? It's an immune response to a perceived threat. All right, let's see if Dr. Pedri is right. Is the overall message from What the Health correct? That eating a bunch of plants, which are high in carbohydrate, high in sugar, good for you? Is that what causes inflammation or not? The anti-inflammatory effect of plant-based diets is more than just about the power of plants but also the avoidance of animal foods. Uh, we've known for 15 years that a single meal high in animal fat— uh, sausage and egg McMuffins were used in the original landmark study— can cause an immediate elevation in inflammation within our bodies that peaks at about four hours. It's looking like Dr. Pedre got it backwards. Within hours of eating animal fat, our arteries get paralyzed. Uh, we nearly cut their ability to open normally in half. Either Dr. Greger is full of crap and lying to us, or somehow I missed the part in there about how sugar is the cause of inflammation and the cause of disease. Well, this Mind Body Green article continues on. They say here that other researchers agree with Dr. Pedre's view that sugar is the cause of inflammation and the disease. So I click this link here to see what they're talking about. Surprise, surprise, we have another Mind Body Green article written by another doctor here saying how we should cut sugar out of our lives. Yes. She is serious. We should cut all sugar out of our lives. And I read through this article, and it really didn't make any distinction between processed sugar and whole food plants, like fruits. She wants us to cut out all sugar. Really? You want us to have a zero-carb lifestyle. That doesn't sound too practical. doesn't sound healthy. Anyway, let's see what we should eat instead. Well, she says, yeah, of course. You want to get a lot of, plenty of protein and fat. Well, if you've cut out one of the three macronutrients, yeah, you're left with the other two. And even if you haven't, your standard American diet still is high in fat and protein. It's not a problem for people. So what should we eat instead if we've given up all this fruit and stuff? Well, bone broth. She wants us to drink more bone broth. So yet another article promoting bone broth, low carb diets, fear of sugar here on Mind Body Green. I should know, I'm a medical doctor. I don't know about you guys, but this is super frustrating, seeing doctors like Z-Dog and these doctors here from this Mind Body Green article that just don't get it. I assume they watched the movie, but for some reason, when presented with the actual true science, true facts about their profession, their fields of studies, like say diabetes, not caused by eating too many bananas, caused by too much fat in the cells, they don't listen. They just keep saying, no, sugar's bad for you, and have meat in moderation, despite all the problems in meat, even if it's organic and grass-fed. So let me know down here, guys. What do you think? How do you react when you just keep seeing people who are supposed to be intelligent, people with MDs, all this training, yet they cannot understand basic facts presented very clearly in What the Health that even like, you know, people in elementary school, kids can easily understand. Yet these sophisticated doctors just keep clinging to their old opinions that they've had for so long. They're inflexible, unyielding to change to what the truth actually says. So let me know what you think about this. Are you frustrated with the medical medical profession. And uh, hit like if you got something out of this video, if you like me doing these expose videos, and subscribe if you're new to our channel. So until next time, this goes out to all you mind-body green doctors out there. Keep it carved, baby. Keep it carved. Yeah.